I have comb. She has my banana. Katie's ready to fight somebody. Because we've been pushed to a limit. They asked me how was my tour, and I said, I don't want to talk about it. Did they ask you? No. Okay. They didn't ask me. It has been so long and I'm going back to the boom I randomly found in 2017. I wasn't satisfied by Luke Wynn's recommendation, so we're going to one that I found randomly. Boom chai 34. The condiments are proper. One of Katie's final chadas. <laughs> I can make it a whole. I am ready to slurp like this silver platter full of noodles. What's the impression giving you here versus the place from Netflix. That one was really hard to find. We had to like really jump through an hour. It felt like that person was too nice and spoke too much English to oh, me. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Katie said it. It's better than the other place. Uh, this is my favorite food to get. I like how garlicky it is. I want to add more garlic. It's like part of the experience. I feel like it's just don't be yeah. She's gonna eat that. Too stupid to not eat that. Is it above or below pho? Above. I love eating this here, but if I get it out of Hanoi, I would never eat it because they don't make it very well. And you can see all the charred grilled ashes in the broth. I love that. Like, so much flavor. Katie rarely picks something, but she picked fried pho squares or pillow pho, and it's the pho noodles cut into squares instead of strips and then deep fried. <laughs> Katie has a weakness for deep fried food. These are two stuck together, and then there's like veg, beef. The beef and the greens are like a little too crazy. It's not as soft as I expected. It's still pho inside. And the outside is just crisp, so it's cool. My city is more about green mango, here's more about green papaya. Why are you confused? There's a dude swimming in this nasty lake. I don't know why. I feel like this is bro. <laughs> you are! Basic. The hottest part of the day is done, and the streets are just packed with fresh fruit, rice noodles, people on their way home picking up ingredients to cook with. There's so much being sold, like a whole rainbow. Some stuff is like half cooked and half prepped, so it's easy to add to your meal. And some is just eggs, tomatoes, herbs. I feel like I'm looking at Asia through a TV screen. It's its own experience. But don't let other productions documenting Vietnam fool you. I wouldn't say the people are so friendly. See a lot of people about to bite my face off. <laughs> the boon is not looking that fresh. This looks fresh. That smells good. There's a few floors of people here. I don't know how they're gonna close in 15 minutes. Okay, this is the worst quality boon I've got. Like, it's been sitting out all day. It's good. But it's nothing special. We get two meatballs, one meatball each. It's really good. I aggressively asked the poor girl working here if I could see the famous table that got enshrined. I mean, why wouldn't you want to see that? Like, come on. The bone is dirty. Sometimes the bone comes dirty, and I don't like that. I am boon chot out. I like the broth better than the other one. I feel like the meatball is the boon part. She likes the meatball better than my favorite one. But overall, I like the other one better. The, the boon is fresher, the broth is hot, and like tastes better. The atmosphere, yeah. This place is just kind of sad. It has a Michelin star. It has a Michelin star, but it's serving dirty boon. Never trust the French. There's something too crabby about the crab. I think I'm just being very snotty here because I don't trust it. Like I'm judging it before I see it. Yeah, you were. I mean, come on. <laughs> star my ass. It looks like the boon and the boondao was supposed to be stuck together. 
She's like mooming over here, which is not like her reaction. Especially last night when we had another first food. I found this one on YouTube. But it's just like tofu, mm -hmm. not bread. I think so I like don't it because it's bun. not really mooty. It's like cheesy. It is tofu. Is this cheese? No, it's cheese rice like cheese. It's just so satisfying. This is what I'm making for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Can't believe how good this is. Katie thinks it's like cheese. But it's just like when the cheese It is like cheese when you say it like that. It's like mozzarella. It reminds me of French onion soup. We found egg McMuffins, we found French onion soup. This was only one month in like a few cities in Vietnam. I'm about to read all about this dish. It's like not too crowded with random things. To make it delicious, it's like simple. That's so cool. I pin it down. I got oh, stressed out because everyone was looking at me. Maybe they, oh, like all over me now. Okay, I use my hands. Yeah. There. And I'm scared of the sharp parts. Because um, I'm with Katie <laughs> and it's really fun. She's like so badass to want to try this. Like, I never do this. I've got like the very end of this nail stuck in here. I can't get it out. What do I do? The brown part. It's actually pretty nice. I always love the green sauce. At the surf spot, they always just have a bottle ready to go. The server here was really nice. Yeah, he's like, he was super nice. This sauce goes with this species of snail. Are you sure you don't want some bread? It's not the Netflix lady. I couldn't find the Netflix lady after two tries, so I lost my appetite for her. I mean, this is like a different experience. This is like fine dining. This gets Katie's mission in I still broke the end off a little bit. So I'm gonna dip it in the coconut sauce more. I'm gonna go with orange this time. Yeah, I was like, what could possibly beat that soup? I mean, the soup tastes it better, but like this whole experience is really good. The soup was better. <laughs> the soup was better. The soup might be like the best thing you have today. Even though I love bun chai, it's really meaty. The soup is like much less meaty. Like, a book that I really like said meat should be a garnish, and the meat was the garnish. That's why I like it. Yeah. This is just, like cholesterol. One of the last things you eat in Vietnam is snails. 